Even though uh, Malaysia have only one weather that is called summer, but there is also a few types of um, weather scenarios that we need to take note of. It's like, for example, the hot weather, the windy weather, and then the rainy seasons, and also the nighttime commuting. So today I'm going to share with you what type of accessories that we should have for each and every weather. So without further ado, let's go. Alright, what things that do you think that we need during the hot weather? Of course, water because we will tend to be more hydrated whenever we are cycling during the hot weather time. So this water is very important. Just remember to bring at least some of the waters and drink it whenever you feel dehydrated. Besides that, there's another important items that you must have during the hot weather is the sunglass. This sunglass could help to protect you from the wind, the insects, the dust and even the sun. So please select some of the good sunglasses that's in the market that could protect you from all of this. And it's not this kind of um, glasses where there's still wind insect that could fly in, but something that can cover up your eyes. Some of the sunglasses that's good for cycling is from uh, Oki. So this is some of the sunglasses that I have. This is not an interchangeable lens sunglass. I do have another type that is changeable lens. You can actually change the sunglass color according to the color that you prefer or maybe the weather. So we have um, one of this type of uh, color lens. We have the yellow, white, black and we even have the orange color lens that we could uh, change. It is a really interesting um, concept of sunglasses. So besides this, what if when you are cycling and it is really windy, the wind keep um, actually pushing you and it will actually affect your cycling experience as well. So the one and only items that you need to have is not to wear those uh, loose clothing. You have to wear those who are more tighter so that you won't act as a parachute and resist wind from uh, flowing away from your body. This will also help you to cycle better. But besides that, there's one tactic that you need to remember. If you're embracing a strong wind, please slow down your speed. Because if you are actually uh, against the wind and you are hitting it hard, it will actually consume more energy compared to you cycling slower. So now, let's proceed to the rainy season. Alright, talking about rainy seasons. So when it is raining, it is wet, right? Um, the first thing that um, you must be aware of is the tyre. Make sure the tyre flower is all in order. If it is worn out, then you have to change it. Secondly is the mud protector, the tyre mud protector. This one could actually help to block all the waters from splashing to your body. So besides this, of course the most important one would be their brakes. Make sure your brakes is workable. So besides this, what things do you need to have for your body? Of course a raincoat or a waterproof jacket that could protect you from the water. So how about um, the night time? Of course, during night time, the visibility of uh, you as a cyclist would be drastically reduced. So you need to have a jacket that could actually easily be seen by the road users. So please wear those jackets who have the reflectors that they can actually see you from far. Of course, the front and the back lights workability is really important. Besides that, right, let me show you this. I do also have installed this. It's a third party um, flashlight where when you push it on, it will have like, so I've installed one white color in front here to sync together with my front light. And 
for my back leg is red color I've also installed one here on the back of my saddlebags besides this I've also installed another like blue color lights on my bike helmet as well so uh, I think that's all folks for my sharing on what do we need to have to embrace the Malaysian weather as a cyclist I hope you like my sharing thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye